Last year's NCAA game blew most of the gaming world away with awesome visuals, spot on ESPN presentations, and gameplay improvements. NCAA Football 12 packs a bunch of stuff that takes those additions to another level, but it doesn't pack anything that's nearly as mind blowing. Still, that's not to say NCAA Football 12 isn't great. It is, and college football fans like me are going to sink hour after hour into it. The additions that are noticeable from the get-go come on the presentation front. EA has really ramped up the ESPN influence so that every game and every moment feels like it's happening on cable TV. The graphic packages are pulled from Saturday mornings and Herb Street and Nestler are as energized as ever. Here come the Nittany Lions! Still the big addition is tradition. College football is a sport that's all about pomp and circumstance, and that's what EA has tried to capture in NCAA Football 12. From well-known moments like the Georgia Bulldogs storming the field, to touch traditions like Northwestern's Trust Yourself sign, to little details like the ROTC firing off a cannon after Mizzou scores, this game has it. Combine this with some stunning graphics, 3D grass on the field, and well-animated fans, and it's easy to get caught up in NCAA football and have it feel like it's more than just a video game. At least until you see the usual visual faux pas, like a field goal net crushing the legs of a cameraman or a shadow freaking out on the field. At its core, NCAA Football 12 is a great rendition of football. It's always been that way thanks to a dedicated team at Tiburon. Getting a sack is rewarding, returning a kick for a touchdown is exciting, and even getting a first down is enough to bring a smile to my face. The gameplay is as solid and responsive as ever. Outside of that though, you're getting the same on-field action you expect with a brand new collision and tackling system that makes the hits more realistic. That's fine, but it didn't set my hair on fire. Now where the gameplay additions really shine are in Road to Glory and Dynasty. Last year, Road to Glory was just a rehash of the previous year's content. In NCAA 12, EA ditches Aaron Andrews, sad, I know, and adds in this crazy RPG game. You create a player and play through his senior year of high school and four years of collegiate ball. But as you do so, you earn and lose experience points for good and bad calls. The XP dictates how much trust your coach has in you, and as you level up, you earn new abilities. Only trouble is that this can break the experience. I was smart with my points, and I was a 99 overall by the middle of my freshman year. I love where this mode is going, but it could be thought out a bit more. Dynasty mode is back, and while the meat of it is largely untouched, you can still spend hours recruiting players and run your online dynasty from a computer, coaching options keep it fresh. When you start a career, you can choose to take the traditional role of head coach or one as offensive or defensive coordinator. Choose one of those roles, and you can only control that side of the ball and recruiting. When you take a job, you sign a contract that lays out what's expected of you. Stuff like getting a certain number of yards or winning a certain number of games. This year, each season ends with the coaching carousel that shows you who's been fired, who's quitting, and who's getting hired. It's like a little draft for coaches, and there's nothing as nerve-wracking as passing on a contract extension in hopes of getting called up on the carousel. NCAA 12 is packed with cool stuff. The touch traditions, the ESPN presentation, the coaching carousel, but it surrounds stuff that feels really familiar. That's not terrible as last year's product was so great, but it does make NCAA Football 12 feel like a souped up edition rather than a huge step forward. For more on NCAA Football 12 from the biggest Mizzou fan on the internet, head over to IGN.com.